What's up guys welcome back to fourth part of notifications in Android. Now in this video we are going to continue our discussion on normal view regular activity. In this video we are going to add the two actions button settings and help in our regular notifications right. Now on the click of these two buttons we will be migrated to the settings.java and help.java. So let us quickly jump onto the eclipse. So these were the codes that we discussed in the last two videos. We built these codes, build the content of the notification, provide the explicit intents for the notification, add the backstack builder, fine. After this, pass the notification through notification manager notify function, fine. So these were the steps that we followed and, and we successfully dealt with adding the pending intent to migrate to the activity B. Now, let us do one thing guys. So. Our next step is to provide explicit intent, pending intent and also backstack task builder for the action buttons. So this step is similar to what we performed for our notification pending intent, explicit intents and backstack task builder. So what I'm going to do just copy, I'm just going to copy these codes right here and modify the codes. Fine. Control C, Control V. Now let us change i to j activity let's say settings dot class fine. Now after this copy these four lines of codes control c and paste it right here fine. Now after this let us change to stack builder underscore settings so as to avoid any confusion here also settings again fine now let us write pending intent as pi underscore settings fine now here instead of i let's change it to j because here our intent is j and let us change this activity b to settings dot class so we have successfully modified our program intent j settings fine task builder task builder settings task builder settings then here settings dot class then again task builder settings and I have changed the pending intent name to pi settings. Now these are the codes for settings button. So let us write the codes for our next action button which is actually help dot java fine let's copy it. Now instead of J let's write K change settings to help dot class So this is the codes for settings for settings button and this is the codes for help button fine now now this is the step builder dot set content intent pi main similar to this statement we have to add another statement right here. Now we have to type builder dot add action. Now let's give the icon drawable dot setting now give the title as settings then intent is it is actually the pending intent guys. Now our pending intent for settings button is what? pi settings so let's copy it and paste it right here now add the action for help button to our builder of notification so let's repeat the step add action r dot drawable dot help icon now title as help and intent pi underscore help now guys this r.drawable.setting and r.drawable.help these are the images that I have stored inside my drawable folder fine. So you have to store the images right in the drawable folder and as I showed you in the first tutorial itself there are four activities activity a activity b help.java and settings.java and correspondingly I am having the four layouts activity a b help and settings.xml fine. Now these codes are sufficient enough to generate a notification but the matter is that our codes are incomplete. 
inside the notifications manifest file now we have to declare the help.java and settings.java so as to avoid our application from crashing fine so what we're gonna do since this is a regular kind of activity so we have to repeat the course what we did what we wrote for the activity B in the manifest file so let's copy these codes let us change this activity B to what let's say settings.java fine whatever now parent activity let it be activity A only now here instead of activity B write help.java fine whatever so we are pretty done with the manifest file now inside the manifest file let me repeat you again this was the manifest code of activity B that we wrote in the last video fine and these two codes these two blocks of codes for settings activity and help activity we just wrote it right now this is the metadata fine this one also and this is the name of the parent activity to which on the press of back button in both the activities we will be migrated straight to the activity A fine now let us save our project and run our application and hopefully everything will work fine so let's click on the show normal view yes notification has been generated awesome see the two action buttons we have added successfully settings and help which is the integral part of this notification itself fine now let us click on this settings button oops guys there is a mistake activity B is getting opened now let's check our help button again our activity B got opened so there is some problem with our codes now let's check it out yeah everything seems to be fine till now stack oops guys here the stack builder I have not changed it to stack builder underscore settings fine this was our problem settings right now in the next intent also here also stack builder underscore help it just missed out of my view now let's run our application again now our app is running now let's check it out again yes notification is generated pretty awesome now let's click on the settings button yeah definitely we are getting the desired output on the click of the setting button we got the settings activity got opened in front of us now if we press this back button then we get our front page again which is actually activity a right so now let us check out our help button yes again our application is perfectly working fine now let me show you one thing guys now go back and again go back let's close this application now again let's go to our settings right this is our settings now let let us go back now yes again our application is working perfectly fine on the press of the back button we got our parent activity right in front of us so please don't confuse with the codes guys let me explain you what I have done here now this was the basic content of the notification right now this is the explicit intent for our notification and this is the task stack builder for our main notification right now these bunch of codes from here to here are the explicit intents and pending intent and back stack task builder for our action buttons right so please don't confuse with it if you want to add one more button so simply copy these codes and set the add action button to our notification builder right now finally add the notification through the notification manager right so guys please don't confuse with the codes right here if you have any doubt with the codes please leave a comment below my video I will definitely answer so so in this video we have successfully added the action to our buttons now in the next video we are going to build our big text regular notification big picture regular notification and inbox style regular notification now we have already built our basic platform of codes so in the next video it is not going to take much time to write codes of these three notifications we have to just alter few lines of codes and everything will work fine now the functionality of these notification is similar to what we did in our normal view notification on the click on this big text regular notification we will be migrated to activity B similar is the case of inbox style 
and same is the case of big picture only the few lines of codes we have to alter in each case so as to get our desired output fine so thanks for watching guys and please subscribe to my channel and please like my video guys we need your immense support to grow and thanks for watching have a good day thank you catch you guys in next tutorial